Hey everyone! So this week and next week we are learning and talking about all sorts of things that live in the ocean. And today we're going to talk a little bit about sharks. So there's a few things we're going to do. I have a story that we're going to read, a book that we're going to read about, sh about sharks. We're going to watch a little video about sharks. And then I have a little shark experiment that we're going to do too. So boys and girls, the first thing we're going to do is I have a book that we're going to read. This is called Big Sharks. Now this is one of those books, boys and girls, that it's not a story. This is a book that is teaching us some facts about sharks. So we're not listening to a story. These are real facts about real sharks. So let's dive in and learn all about big sharks sharks. Not all sharks are big though, so maybe we'll learn about little sharks too. This is written by Tori Kassara. That's the author. Did you know that sharks are a type of fish? They have gills like other fish do. Shark gills work like filters to help them take in oxygen from the water so that they can breathe. So if you look really closely at the picture, see these little slits right there? Those are their gills. All fish have those little slits or the gills on their sides. And that's what they suck in the water and it's able to take the oxygen out of the water so that they can breathe. So if a shark is a fish, can it ever come out of the water? No, it wouldn't be able to breathe. Ooh, look, at, here's a shark right there. Most fish have bones, but shark skeleton are made of cartilage instead. Cartilage is strong, but softer than bone. This flexibility helps sharks hunt because they can move easily through the water. Oh, so sharks don't have bones. They have something called cartilage. So I want what I want you all to do, boys and girls, I want you to take your hands and I want you to pull your ear right here. See this part of your ear? And I want you to bend it and squeeze it and move it all over the place. Do you feel what's in there? That is called cartilage. So do you feel how it's bendy and you can sort of squish it and move it? Yeah, that's what makes up the shark's body. They don't have bones. We have bones in like our arm. That's really hard. You can't bend a bone but you can bend the cartilage. So that's why the sharks are able to dart all over the place so quickly. That's cool, huh? Ooh, look at this shark right there. Whoa. Most sharks are carnivores. That means that they eat meat, such as smaller fish, seals, dolphins, and even seagulls with their sharp teeth. You see their teeth right there? They have very, very sharp teeth. You can usually tell if an animal is a carnivore, if it's a meat eater, by looking at its teeth. If it has really sharp teeth, then it needs those sharp teeth to help sort of rip apart the meat that they're gonna eat. So sharks are carnivores. They eat meat. Sharks have super senses to help them hunt. A shark can hear very low sounds, sounds that we can't hear, sharks can hear, like swimming and splashing underwater and can even feel the movement of its prey. So it can hear things from far away and it can also feel movement. So if there's a seal and it's splashing in the water, the shark can tell because it can feel like the ripples in the water. Isn't that super cool? Look right here, it's giving you a close-up of a shark's ear. That's kind of cool, huh? Whoa, look at that close-up. Look at all those teeth. My goodness, and they're so sharp. Sharks have a lot of teeth. Their teeth are in layers. So if any tooth breaks off, a new one can take its place right away. Certain sharks can have up to 4,000 teeth at a time, but only the front row is used for eating. So see right here, those are the teeth in the front, those are used for eating. But if one of them fall out, there's other teeth in the back that can take its place. It's a lot of teeth, isn't it? Whoa. Almost 
almost all sharks have skin that feels like sandpaper. Instead of fish scales, sharks have skin made of denticles. Denticles feel like sharp, hard teeth. A shark's rough skin protects it from getting hurt. So a shark, if you were going to touch a shark, it wouldn't feel smooth. It would feel like sandpaper. This is what sandpaper is. I bet some of your special grown-ups might have some sandpaper if you have like a workshop or a place where sometimes your special grown-ups keep some tools. This is sandpaper. And when you touch, you can even hear it. When you touch sandpaper, it feels very rough like that. So you could ask your special grown-up if you have any sandpaper at home and see if you can feel it and you'll feel that it's very, very rough. So a shark isn't smooth, a shark is rough like sandpaper. Let's see what else. Look at that shark right there. See them and you can see those gills. Sharks live in salt water. Some kinds of sharks like to live in warmer oceans while others live where it is cold. So sharks live in salt water. Ocean waters are salt water. There's salt in that water. So sharks live in oceans. They don't live in lakes or rivers. They live in oceans. Oh, and look, here's one over here. Most sharks live to be about 25 years old. Hmm. That's a good long life for a shark, for a fish. That's younger than Mrs. Thompson, but older than all of you. Ooh, here's a little fish uh, shark right here. The short fin mako is the fastest shark on the planet. It can reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. Whoa, that's a pretty fast swimmer. The largest shark is the whale shark. This is a whale shark right here. That's a really big type of shark. A whale shark can measure up to 60 feet long, wow. Making it the biggest fish in the ocean. So the whale shark is the biggest fish. It's not bigger than a great um, blue whale, but a whale is not a fish, a whale's a mammal. So this, a whale shark, is the biggest fish. That means it stays and it swims underwater, breathes underwater. Oh, look at this shark. The deepwater dogfish is one of the world's smallest sharks. Found in the Caribbean Sea, it can grow to be about eight inches long. Eight inches is not big at all. It's like that. That's a teeny tiny shark. Hmm. So there are some really huge ones, but there's some also very tiny sharks too. Oh, look at this one. See that shark? That's called a nurse shark. Nurse sharks are bottom dwellers. That means they stay at the bottom of the ocean down by where the sand is. They live in warm water and move slowly. Unlike most sharks, a nurse shark has smooth skin. Oh, so this one doesn't have the sandpaper skin. Look at that shark. I bet some of you know that shark. That's called a hammerhead. Look, because it's head looks like a hammer. That's a good name for it. A hammerhead shark's specially shaped head gives it even better senses for hunting. Hammerhead sharks can also use their wide heads to pin their prey to the ocean floor. That means when they're swimming after something to eat that they're able to swim right down to the floor and they can use their head to keep that prey there. They have the little fish there so it can't get away. That's a tiger shark. Tiger sharks get their name from the dark stripes they have when they are young. As they grow older, the stripes fade. Tiger sharks will eat anything they find, so they are known as the waste baskets of the sea. So they'll eat anything, they don't care what it is. Oh, look at that one. That is a great white shark. Great white sharks are really good hunters. Their tails help them reach speeds up to 15 miles per hour. And they can sense even the tiniest amounts of blood in the water up to three miles away. That's pretty far. Whoa. They're very good at hunting. 
Ooh, look at that. We know of about 400 different kinds of sharks swimming in the ocean. And scientists are still finding more. Who knows what other type of amazing sharks are waiting to be discovered? waiting to be discovered. Who knows? I bet there are lots of other different types of sharks too. So that was our book called Big Sharks. Although we learn not all sharks are big, aren't they? Sharks are really interesting creatures, aren't they? They sure are. So boys and girls, now I found a little video that we're going to watch together that gives us some more information about sharks. So we're going to watch the video and then we'll come back and then we'll do a little experiment together. All right, so let's go watch that. Get ready for things you want to know. This underwater creature has beady eyes, a toothy jaw, and is oftentimes the main attraction in some scary movies. Sharks. But what are they? Fish or superheroes? If you guess both, then you're right. Sharks are one of the oldest living organisms on planet Earth. Like all fish, they swim in water and can be found in every ocean on Earth. Sharks are often seen as the supervillain of the sea, but they're better cast as superheroes because sharks have superpowers. They have the power of night vision. Sharks can spot their prey in dim and dark waters. Combine this with a strong sense of smell and the ability to pinpoint their prey sometimes hundreds of feet away. Sharks also get a bad rap. The truth is, you're more likely to get injured by a toilet than attacked by a shark. But the odds of either of those things happening is unlikely. When it comes to feasting, sharks are clever and well-equipped with speed, agility, and strength. Sharks have different techniques for capturing food like the basking shark that holds its mouth open like a drawbridge and inhales as much as a thousand pounds of fish food in its stomach every day. I'm full just thinking about that. Sharks' eating habits may seem extreme, but they actually help to keep fish populations strong. Sharks use their superpowers to protect and help keep the ocean healthy. Sharks are the superheroes of the sea. Wasn't that really cool being able to see some pictures of some real sharks and learn some neat little facts? Yeah, I liked it too. So boys and girls, we're going to do a little experiment. One of the interesting facts about sharks is that we know that sharks are fish so that they use their gills to breathe, but sharks have to keep moving all the time in order to breathe. If sharks stop moving, then they can't breathe anymore and they sink down to the bottom and they would die. So boys and girls, even when sharks are sleeping, they have to keep moving. So sharks are sort of built or they're made using different techniques to help them so that even when they're sleeping, they can stay moving without exhausting too much of their energy. And one of the things that's super cool about sharks is that they have an organ in their body. All of our bodies have different organs, organs in them. They have a liver. We have a liver too. But their liver is made up of almost all of like oils and fats. And the oils and fats in their liver, and their livers are really big, help them to float, to stay up. So even when they're sleeping, they're still able to move without using a lot of energy, without sinking. So we're gonna do a little experiment, boys and girls. So using water balloons, boys and girls, I'm gonna show you how the oil helps a shark to float. So I have a little water balloon right here, and I'm gonna fill this water balloon up with some oil. I already started. Now this oil is just regular old oil that you get in your kitchen. I'm just gonna fill him up like that. All right. So this is just kind of like the oil that he would have in his liver. So here is our little shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I'm gonna put him in the water. Oh, look at that. He comes right up to the surface, so he's floating. Now I have another 
shark that I'm gonna make over here. We're gonna see what would happen if the shark had more water in it than oil. So I'm gonna fill up this balloon with just some water. Filling them up, filling them up. Okay, that should be about enough. My hands are a little bit slippery, so I have to tie this little guy. It's gonna be hard because my hands are so slippery, but I think I can do it. Okay, so this shark is filled with water. I'm gonna place him in. Oh, do you see how he goes down to the bottom? Look at that shark, he's way down at the bottom, but the shark with the oil stays up at the top. So boys and girls, even when the sharks are sleeping, they're still able, the way their bodies are built, they're still able to sort of float a little bit more um, so that they don't sink down to the bottom. Isn't that super cool? It is neat how sharks have all these adaptations to help them survive in the ocean. Well, that was a super cool experiment, boys and girls. It was a messy experiment. I have oil all over the place, but it was a lot of fun to see. Boys and girls, can you see? Can you still see? Look, this guy's down at the bottom and this guy's floating on the top. Pretty cool. All right, boys and girls, thanks for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to learn all about different creatures that live in the ocean. Bye, boys and girls.